डू फ्री फंक्शनिंग ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया द सोर्स कोड इज ए सेट ऑफ ह्यूम एंड रीडेबल इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट टेल्स दि मिशीन वाट टू डू इफ अल्टर्ड दि सोर्स कोड कैन चेंज दि औटकम आफ एन एलेक्शन द सोर्स कोड आफ्ट एंड कॉल द ब्रेन रेफर्स टू ए सेट आफ इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट टेल्स दि मिशीन हव टू फंक्शन Curiously election commission does not possess the source code it says Bharat Electronics Limited and Electronics Corporation of India Limited have property rights over it Electronics Corporation of India Limited replied that the firmware or source code testing was done by the third party namely STQZ an agency under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology but the central public information office denied access to the reports on the ground that they were too voluminous bharat electronics limited denied access to this information claiming the exemption relating to commercial confidence and intellectual property rights under section of the rti act while the electronic corporation of india limited claimed that the firmware and source code audit released related information was classified and could not be disclosed under section of the rta act which protects national security interest bharat electronics limited claimed commercial confidence and intellectual property rights related in exemption under section 8 one and d to deny access to the same information election commission of india has very little control over the software or even the voting machines which are manufactured by two government entities that also design and upload the software and to them integrity of the code can be deducted without having to make it public there needs to be a variable editable mechanism for the source code written by hand picked employees of bharat electronics limited the source code of the software used in the evm has never been shared with the technical evaluation committee mandated to audit the software or the ministry of electronics and information technology standardization testing and quality certification cell the third party that cross verifies the tcs audit The EVM software is simple and the ECI that is Election Commission of India can easily get it developed with its own property rights for a sum that cannot exceed a couple of million rupees. The Supreme Court itself is pushing for open source software. Australian EVM uses Linux and open source software for operating the machines. Venezuela audits its source code before every election. The United States keep its source code and has it in a public repository and Germany and several other countries <coughs> have hot rid of electronic voting machines. Despite the passage of more than 10 years, the Election Commission of India does not appear to have acted on the 2013 recommendation of its own technical evaluation committee to make the firmware or source code embedded in the microcontroller used in EVM transparent in order to ensure that there is no trojan or other malware in the EVMs the election commission of india has not yet made any decision on the september 2018 recommendation of the central information commission to get the competent authority to examine whether detailed information about the firmware or source code used in the electronic voting machines can be placed in the public domain in order to create public trust in the electronic voting machine based voting system electronic voting machine was introduced 25 years ago we live in a era where technology changes fast experts opinions that a particular technology becomes irrelevant after 6 months to 1 year it means election commission of india have to upgrade the system at regular intervals but nothing has been done on this machine in the last 25 years why the majority of voters do not trust evms which are vulnerable to manipulation since the source code of the chips installed in the evm were not shown it created greater suspicion machines normally without any wrong human intervention will work properly and will yield accurate results 
but by this opac functioning election commission is playing subterfuge for their intended political party the election commission has very little control over the conduct of the election including the manufacture of the hardware and software of the machine which is in clear violation of article 324 i of the constitution the 2019 lok sabha election are estimated to have cost 8.6 billion dollar and the 2024 election are projected to cost 14 billion dollar so early the hacker of evm system is not likely to be a run of the mill type it is a mystery why the supreme court or the government does not question the election commission on its lack of controller over such a strategic component that can entangle trillions of rupees and the national security the evm system reliability is not an issue between the government and political party it is an issue of citizens democratic rights bible talks about dubri functioning of election commission of india in exilia chapter 10 verse 1 and exilia chapter 9 and verse 18 as dead flies cause the fermiers ointment to sting so also does a little foolishness to ones that is election commission of india reputation of wisdom and honor and one sinner that is election commission of india can destroy much that is good for india yes